All right, so we are at the end of the course now and let's take a quick rewind of what we have done so far and also quickly discuss about what are the next steps, uh, what are the other things you could do uh, in the BI stack and what are the other trainings that I provide. Um, first of all, we looked at uh, database concepts, table concepts, what is a database, how do tables fit in, how data flows into it. Uh, we also looked at basic querying, right? How to create tables, how to create databases. We looked at select queries. We looked at create, uh, update, and delete, how to join different tables, how to run some aggregations, how to run, um, how to manipulate dates, what are the date functions, and so on and so forth. So by now, you should have a comfortable, you should be comfortable writing basic queries and, you know, um, playing around with data. So if you are you know, maybe going for an interview which requires some simple T-SQL queries, this should pretty much, you should be able to get started with this one. Now, if you want to take the next step um, in learning more in the BI stack, the next steps would be definitely knowing more about stored procedures. Um, it should be custom functions, not customer functions, um, triggers, views, temporary tables, and so on and so forth. Um, and I will be releasing an intermediate course as well um, soon. That should give you a good idea of various things that you could do apart from just simple queries. And advanced concepts would be another series which would cover things like database tuning, query tuning, and so on and so forth. Like, you know, what is the differences between clustered indexes, um, non-clustered indexes, um, you know, how do you tune them, how do you decide where to use a index and stuff like that. Uh, we'll also look at some CLR, c -sharp CLR profilers and how to load very large data sets um, and so on and so forth. So we'll look at a few examples in those where we actually load huge amount of data sets. The next, uh, of course, is a different concept where, um, you know, we, we talk about ETLs. ETLs is nothing but extract, transform and load is basically how to extract data from different systems. Say CSV, Excel files, from an Oracle to a SQL, SQL to Oracle, or something like that. And that's where um, you know a lot of ETL concepts and stuff come into play here. Things like you know when you are transferring huge data sets, what should be a buffer size? What is your speed? What is the speed of your machine? And stuff like that. So there are different things to consider over here to optimize your extract, transform, and load. And again, we'll split it up into beginners, intermediate, and advanced courses. There are a couple of things we can do in reporting, um, majorly being SQL Server re Reporting Services, or SSRS. And you know that's a Microsoft product, and what are the different reporting tools is provided, reporting facilities it provides. Tableau is another tool where I'll release a separate course um, where we can look at uh, what are the different aspects, what, how, how can you create really, really good visualization by connecting to different data sources, how to quickly create reports, how to quickly create very professional quality reports, and so on and so forth. We'll, sometime later, I will start with some big data analytics as well. We'll start with Hadoop for beginners, how to you know get into just basic querying, what is Hadoop and stuff like that. We go into something intermediate and then we'll go into some advanced concepts as well. So hope you like my course. Thank you very much for watching uh, my course and please provide me your suggestions and feedback as well. Thank you.